Many people will tell you how they got into a nursing program, but hardly anybody tell you what are different ways of getting into a nursing program or what you need to look out for if you're searching for a program yourself. And for some of you, you may feel stuck in your current situation and you don't know what to take for your next step in order to go into a nursing program. Oftentimes when you're in the pre-nursing phase, you can feel very lost because there is no guidance and you're not in a program surrounded by other nursing students as well to guide you. So hopefully this video can help some of you out there that are feeling a little bit stuck in your current situation in continuing your nursing program search. Welcome back to Nursing and Bail. Here we can cover all the tips and tricks on how to jumpstart a successful nursing career. All right, for your first tip is do not be picky about the school that you're going into. Make sure you apply to every single nursing program that is out there that you can find because it is a very competitive system and it's best if you maximize all your chances. So what that means is do not simply look at public school, for example, if you are planning on having it be affordable. Make sure you also look at private school because sometimes public systems are very competitive and therefore private system might be an easier route for you. Of course, that means a lot of student loans, but Ultimately, as long as you get into a program, that is your first priority. Because when it comes to being accepted into a nursing program, it is very competitive and you do not know exactly how much longer your wait time is until you have your second chance of going to a nursing program again. So it's better to actually take on that more expensive route is waiting for that public opening. Also, you want to look at associate degree programs and even LVN programs, which stands for Licensed Vocational Nurses. Both of these are also great. You are having a tough time getting that BSN offer as well. For example, with the LVN program, it is usually about 12 months and it actually has a lot of the basic skills needed to be a nurse. The only difference between an LVN and RN is that with LVNs, they cannot have full assessment responsibility unlike an RN. Also, they cannot do full on evaluations and teachings, so they still have to be under supervision of RNs, but ultimately, they're about pretty close to the same. Later down the line, we'll talk about how you can use your LVN title to further your education if you're planning on taking that next step in higher nursing education. So let me explain how this is important. So back when I was applying for nursing programs several years before, I only looked at public schools and I did not consider private schools or any other routes. And as a result, the first time around when I was applying, I got rejected to all the state universities for their nursing program. And I was definitely very disappointed, but it was how it is back then. And I'm sure it's just gonna get worse nowadays with how competitive it is. So the second time around, I had a cousin who convinced me to try maybe taking a private route. And so I only applied to one school this time around just because I was a little bit disappointed from the first time still. And I would thought most likely nobody would take me in. But however, even with that first application I submitted, that was the school that accepted me. So to give you an idea, this is why it is important you want to consider all your options so yeah with that said i could have probably saved myself half a year worth of waiting time and tip number two is make sure you do your research on the school and i'm gonna have a list of questions that you want to ask yourself when you are doing research for each of these nursing program and their schools so question number one you want to look into is what is their way of selecting applicants? Is it through a waitlist system or is this a lottery system? Based on what the system is, you have a higher chance of maybe going into the nursing program or not. So say if it is a lottery system, well, if you don't get in this time, then most likely your chances of getting to next time is probably about the same because it's all randomized. But on a waiting list, however, at least there is some sort of a deadline as to when you can get accepted into it. So make sure you look into what that nursing program selecting system is. So say if it is a wait list, now you want to ask how long on average do applicants need to wait in order to get into the program? Is it half a year? Is it a year or maybe even longer? I remember when I was applying one time for an associate's degree program back then, I was told there might be a chance of me waiting for a year in order to get accepted into the program. So these are things you want to ask because it can help you plan accordingly to timeline. Question number three you want to ask is how long on average does it take for a student to graduate from the nursing program? Majority nowadays for public schools can actually range anywhere between four to even six years. And the reason for this is because the classes are so packed and students cannot take a class because of how packed it is. So they 
ended up having to wait list and they have to also wait until the next quarter or semester in order to take that class and as a result this quickly delays their graduation time. Question number four is quite important and that is does the school require you to take a TEAS test, a HESI's test, or do they don't require any of those? Now that can be a huge time saver for you because if you do not need to study for these tests and just simply focus on taking the GEs and prerequisites that are needed in order to get into a program or if you're a traditional student and go straight into the program itself then you do not have to worry about any of that and you just really have to focus on just finishing the program itself especially if you are having a hard time getting high scores on these tests this is definitely a huge factor in you considering for a nursing program because if you don't have to take the test then your competitiveness is a lot higher compared to other students because now you are much more on par with other students question five you want to ask is does the school offer any scholarships themselves if the school offers scholarships, then that will help you tremendously in your tuition. For example, when I was attending a private school, they offer a scholarship based on what the GPA is of the students. So the higher the GPA, the higher the scholarship amount is for that student. So this helped me tremendously when I was going through these program because when it comes to private school, they cost a lot. Question number six, if, especially if you are transferring, you want to know what exactly are the classes you need for that school in order to transfer into it. Because I know for certain schools, they require a lot more. So for example, I know one school in the Bay Area that is a private school require even history classes as part of their prerequisites in order to get accepted. So more time needed to take classes equals more time you need in order to actually get into the nursing program. Question number seven is very important. You want to make sure whether the credits that you took from your current school are actually transferable into that other school that you are looking into for their nursing program. Because I know for some of my peers, I heard that they were not able able to transfer, for example, their LVN program credits into that BSN program that they needed. So they had to retake certain classes. So make sure you do your research as far as whether a lot of these classes can be transferable from that school that you're taking. Similarly, on the flip side, some of these community colleges may have connections and close ties to some of these state universities, for example and they are having a higher chances of getting you into a say a BSN program for example if that is what you're planning to get into. So yes make sure you do your research thoroughly and if you cannot find information online definitely reach out to nursing directors and coordinators from the school itself to get these answers if you need to. All right, so that was my list of questions that you want to research into. Now let's get back onto tips. So tip number three I have is you want to make sure you do not simply stick to BSN or MSN applications. Make sure you are applying far and wide. The reason is if you take that LVN or the ADN program, for example, then that is credits you can be using to transfer into your MSN program or BSN program. And then therefore you're actually still going to be graduating around the same time frame. Now, of course, you want to make sure the school you wanted to go into for higher education accepts these different routes of transfers. So make sure once again, you do your research. Also, let me know in the comments section down below if you have been guilty of just simply applying for an MSN program and that was it because I am definitely one of those. Tip number four is look into taking prerequisites and GE classes at community colleges. So for this, this will save you a lot of money if you are say in a CSU or UC and they require the same prerequisites most of the time. So if you are able to take that in a community college setting, then you can save yourself a lot of money. Even if you are in a community college setting, you also want to check out other community colleges because some of these community colleges I know are sister schools. So they have around the same calendar and for the school year and therefore a lot of it will align for classes. So why is this information important? Well, if you're in a community college and there is that one class you need to take, however, is booked up, you can go to a sister school or another community college if those credits do transfer over, then you don't have to waste time waiting for that school to have an opening. Instead, you could just go to another school and take that class. Tip number five, this applies to anybody, whether you're a high schooler, whether you're a transfer student, make sure you score very high on all your science classes for your pre-nursing class because those are your, your core classes for transferring into the nursing program. So for example, this would be anatomy and physiology, microbiology, chemistry, and even stats is another one. 
And with that said, for tip number six is for high schoolers. So you want to look into taking classes such as AP Statistics, AP Biology, AP Chemistry. So these classes, you are able to transfer so credit into college if you score well on your AP exams. For tip number seven is make sure you are patient and just trust the process. I know it is very difficult to keep waiting sometimes, but things happen for a reason. Everybody's journey is different. Instead, focus on what you could do to take an alternative path to get to the same destination and that is how you're going to reach success. Believe me, I know how frustrating and painful it can be waiting to get into a nursing program. I've been there. And the advice I gave you today, a lot of these are actually from myself. So hopefully by applying some of these advice and tips, you are able to get into that nursing program that you really dreamed of. If you find this video helpful or it resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, hit the likes button, and also subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every Monday, so stay tuned. Bye!